Hello, I'm Joni and I'm mother of the bride, or at least I was a few months ago when my daughter got married in June. And I make these real women, real life trials to show women who are well over 50 what dresses uh, that are suggested for mothers of the bride, what they look like on real women of a certain age. So I'm five foot two, I'm 70 and I've got big hips, I'm sort of short and square, basically. If you're that sort of shape and I'm trying on a dress, it'll just give you a better idea before you order whether this might be worth getting. Of course, you can always send clothes back when you order them online, but of course we don't want to order a hundred dresses, do we? I think you order two or three and uh, you choose from those. So generally that's what I did uh, before my daughter got married uh, because living out here in southwest France I can't get to the shops and I've decided that I'll carry on uh, for a while trying on Mothers of the Bride dresses to show you what they look like on a person like me. So this is the Kathleen dress. The Kathleen dress by phase eight. And it's, it's a tape work dress, so it's underneath there's a sort of mesh and then over the top there is this tape work design. Underneath the mesh, from here downwards, uh, there's a really nice lining. In fact, when you try this dress on, I mean I think it's absolutely ideal for winter going into spring or even... I think I could imagine wearing it in the summer. It's, it's, got a, it's got a long season, this dress. So when you try it on, you'll immediately feel the weight of the fabric. And I think that's really important because women of my age, we don't have much of a waist. We've often our hips aren't quite in proportion anymore. And we've got all sorts of rumps and bumps here, haven't we? Let's be honest. If you've got a nice heavy fabric and a nice heavy lining, it'll fall and it'll just gloss over all of that. If it's thinner material, it's clingy and you'll really notice and you'll regret it, you really will. The other thing is when you get a nice fabric like this, you can sit down and have your meal and whatever and then you can get up and dance or chat and move amongst people. Now the thing is at weddings, we're always worried about those horizontal stripes on our beautiful clothes. But this isn't going to do that. This is very, very forgiving fabric. It's got a lovely stretch to it, and you can sit and uh, stand up, sit and stand up all day. You're going to look great in this. So the first thing you notice, I think, is what a clever positioning of the white, because it starts to make you look as if these bits don't exist. It's as if you've got this tiny little waist. So a very, very clever design by Phase 8. And at the back, very, very sweet, I think. It's a very, very pretty dress, isn't it? Very pretty. So I'm hoping I'm in shot now, because with a horizontal format, like YouTube, it's very difficult to get a full-length figure in a shot easily without, you know, professionals helping you. And of course I do these real women, real life try-ons. I do them at home, just like you, ordering online and trying something on. So, I've had to put this hem up two and a half to three inches. So I'm five foot two, so if you're three inches taller than me, this is where it would naturally finish. For me, in the winter or early spring, oh, sorry about the hem, it's a bit, I didn't want to put too many pins in because it's very nice fabric and I don't want to suddenly pull a thread. So it's, it's looking a bit wavy. Uh, take it from me that when you haven't got the hem pinned up, it falls beautifully, it falls dead straight, it looks great. Um, so I've had to take this up, so if you're, five foot six, five foot five, five foot six, this is where it would naturally fall. If you're taller, obviously, it's gonna go a little bit further up. But for me, um, for the winter or early spring, colder weather, 
I like to have it just below my knees. So, it's got a little zip here, so you don't have that problem of a, a zip that makes the back stand out. It's very forgiving at the waistline. It does go in, it definitely goes in, but there's still quite a bit of stretch left there if you've got a bigger waist even than me. I've got really heavy hips and I don't go in a lot at the waist. So it's very important for me that clothes are cut for older women and that they have a bit of stretch in them. So this is just absolutely perfect, really. And I think this would make a beautiful Mother of the Bride dress. And of course, the other thing we have to remember about dresses like this is that you can wear it year round. Because it's got the short sleeves, and if there's any actual outside a part of the event, uh, you'll probably want to wear a really nice, quite warm wrap round there. But take it off when you're inside. But because it's got the short sleeves, this is going to look fantastic on August the 1st, but it's also going to look fantastic at Christmas. Now you can wear, I've got these silvery shoes on, I don't know if you can see them in shot. You could wear black shoes with this, but I think it's going to look a bit formal. Actually, if I had really great red or pink shoes, I would wear it with this. Just something to say, yes, it's a very smart, very put together dress, but I'm a lot of fun as well. And you can tell that because I've got really bright shoes on. Uh, but you do need a little bit of height with a dress of this shape, I think. And then come the evening, uh, you can put on your trainers and you can dance the night away. Uh, because that's what everybody does now. You don't need to keep those high heels on all day. So that's the Kathleen dress by phase eight. And my verdict? Hmm. <laughs> this is, this is a nice dress. This is an elegant and pretty dress.